I'm Peter Burns and I'm the Scouser in the team. Um, I am a substitute teacher, um, mainly in PE around schools and I'm a football coach. The next four weeks are what I want to do today. Because yeah. I've, I've got a load of ideas you want to get through. I've got the idea to involve every single last coach. Mm. I've got, you know, we can split yeah. the pitch, we can work on condescending things. So, you know, playing out from the back versus a high press. Mm -hmm. One way more than intense we have we turned up to that booze worth game. And it was the basics that led us down. Yeah. Effort, getting such tight, you know, talking to one another, be, being a bit more on the ball with things. Mm -hmm. So, I know defensively we've worked a lot on like a little block, stuff like that, but we need to bring that intensity up, especially yeah, with defenders. That's um, big, scouts, lovely. Um, so, in terms of playing, not really. Um, my sporting career started with American football. I used to play for Merseyside Night Hawks American football team. Then I started coaching John Morse Fury um, in American football again. And then I started coaching Merseyside Night Hawks youth. Um, and then when I made the jump to football, I've coached for UCFB women's team, I've coached for UCFB men's team, coached for Wigan Athletic ladies, and now I'm at Stratford Paddock and Accrington Stanley as well. I'm in my final and third year of studying football coaching and management at UCFB Etihad campus, and I'm also a supply teacher in schools who usually covers PE. Um, I first started wanted to coach because of the effect that my American football coach had on my life. Um, I had a great coach called Sean Mooney, who was brilliant in every aspect of, of the word. Um, he was a great person, a great coach, and he really brought out a confidence in me, and I wanted to try and have that effect on somebody else. Um, after coaching American football for three years, or four years, I can't remember now. After coaching American football for four years, um, I then jump ship and started coaching football because I love football, always have done, always will do. Um, always went the game with my mum and stuff, Liverpool, but you know, we'll wash over that. Um, I'm, I've just been in love with the game ever since, so for me, it's what I love to do. Just going to give it a minute, and then when it goes everybody talk, it will be the loudest you've ever heard. We can now talk! Go! What did you guys find happen when one person could talk? So that's organised. People were in the next to all in the first place. So not everyone's good. Okay. But sometimes we can talk. Even that one person didn't talk. Just okay. so and was there anybody who you thought was really effective at talking? I thought we Will the centre back to from there. Will Binder, yeah. You said Yayan on this pitch here, he was really good. Anybody else see a leader? Yeah, number 12. Oh yeah, the Birmingham kit. Yeah. Anything? Okay, cool. So now we'll get you guys playing a little bit of football because that's what we're here to do. Liverpool. Why? because my first house was across the road from Melwood training ground. My mum's a massive Liverpool fan. And I've been, ever since I was like six months old, I've had Liverpool kits put on me. So yeah. Ooh. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to have to have a think about this. No, we're not to have a think about this. Maldini, hands down, Maldini. What? Unbelievable player. Um, he could have played anywhere in his prime. Absolute class, leader, the lot. Won, what, four European Cups, five European Cups? Unbelievable. Massive, 
first couple of minutes, as many shots as we can. 30 yards out, don't care, I'm not going to have a go at you for doing something yet. Low shots. You're dead right, everybody. James is the top one. Let's get out. It's not that bad. I don't actually get as much stick as you'd think. Maybe it's because I'm six foot three, I don't know. But I don't actually get that much stick. And they're not really in a position to be skitting Liverpool at the moment, so it could be that as well. At the moment, I'm listening to a band called New Tribe, um, which is like a Scouse hip hop band, they're really good. Um, one of the songs I recommend is Blood Moon. Um, and I've been listening to um, what are they called Jurassic Five a lot at the minute. Um, a song that really gets me at the moment is called Ja You by Jurassic Five. Yeah. The talented Mr. Ripley. Why's that? It's really weird and I love it. Could be Luke, um, the fullback. Could be Cam. I think he'll get quite a few for descent, but he's not been booked yet, so we'll see. Being touch tight to somebody. How many, how many times just you, you guys talk me through this? The day I have somebody on our back four on the shoulder, and not one of you, not one of you, just went, you know what, I'll get tight to him, you cover behind me. If I don't win the header, you can cover me. When did that happen? Do you want to go out that second half and have another five, six, seven? Show me a little bit of fight. I'm playing football, I'm seeing about four good challenges. Um, my housemate Karthik, who's one of the other coaches, um, he was really, really into it. And he never shut up about it. And he told me what was building. And it sounded like, one of the best opportunities that I could go for. I had a chat with Stay. We sat down for a couple hours and then I was on board. The team's going to a low block against us. How do we play against it? Keep the ball, drive into space. Start looking for one twos, look for penetrative passes, right? We're getting the ball, our two centre halves have all the time in the world. Bring the ball forward, right? And there's we need a bit more communication. Bounce it yeah, into feet. Yeah, this, th this is stuff you guys can do. It's stuff you have done, right? Express yourself second half, go for it. It's a family. I think everybody gets on. Um, the management from Steve is incredible. Um, he lets me do my thing. He constantly has chats with us about things and I feel as though if you're wanting to be a player, coach, anything, this is a great place to be. Pete's got a grunge brain. Oh, right. <laughs> I've got a, um, one thing which they had done which you didn't, which I actually quite like. They moaned at each other a lot. They were getting frustrated with you. At no point did I hear us having a go with each other. It was all good communication. For you to get in the reds for them to go start pushing cam about and pushing hey, like sack you, about. By the way. And you came straight in, I was like, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aaron, fire. 17 fire. years old, <laughs> probably <laughs> the biggest player on their team. What are you I don't think there's a limit. Over time, I don't think there's a limit.